So, you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, yes. isn't it? You needed help mm -hmm. after all, an objective voice to guide yes. your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to find Oh, really? Damned to extinction, eh? Interesting. If you're not me, then what are you? I am an Echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I am what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others really? like you. Others like you? You said... like that before. Has every narrator been different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places. Really? Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers oh. into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work. Oh. Anymore. Interesting. Let me have a look. about the looping so many times I met you you denied it as even being a possibility why would you lie to me any other version of me you talked to was just that a version of me it wasn't me as to why they lied mm. perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your oh first really impossible. Maybe they were just in Denial, hey. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. Yes. For all I know, each of those other versions of me could have had entirely different understandings of how this construct works. Really? Who's to say which of them are right and which of them are okay. wrong? Okay. Except for me. I can tell you for a fact. Right. Okay. I have many questions for you. Then ask them, and make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. Ah. Uh. Does it hurt when your... when pieces of you break off... I'm sorry. Mm. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. Right. The people out here are beyond, beyond the walls of the construct. Do they know about this? Do they know what you want me to do to them? Of course not. The only way this construct could function was if nobody knew what it was oh. doing. But the bones of the universe are old. It's on the cusp of its dying breath and the people out there are consumed with thoughts of oblivion. Oh. When the patterns are wiped from the sand, when the board is reset, who will remember them? All I've done is give them a chance to live outside of the shadow oh. of the end. Interesting. Interesting concept. So. Oh, 
probably know that he's an echo. So, what is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. This isn't the end just yet. You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose yes. once I'm gone. Very well. If I destroy her, won't I be gone, narrator? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. Very well, that's a risk we're willing to take, then. Do you know bad things? Won't just be worse. Why couldn't you have told me all of this from the start? I would have helped you destroy her. Destroy her. If you actually knew what she was from the start, if you knew her capabilities, a single intrusive thought could have instantly ended yes. the entire world. I think it's time. I think you're... Then I think you're out of time. So I am. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have Seems to do. Seems fair. As a final fragment of glass, you see yourself with a newfound clarity. The long quiet and the vast nascent, vast and nascent God. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. You arrive at the heart of things. There is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. However... Oh... So we finally meet. I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. Mm. I've missed you dearly. Indeed, and are you? I've missed you too. She unfurls the endless cascade of smiles in response, then patiently waits for you to continue. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear about our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Hey, okay. Hey. I'm... I'm the long quiet. But I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. Damn. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Um, yeah? When the Echo spun us from one into two, 
He gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Devoid of death. Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? Liberation. Very well. Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens. Just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. Mm -hmm. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Okay. Right. If I l let you out, an entire world ends for good. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me, me doing anything? Did it even matter? What roads I walked, if all of them would lead to this moment. If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so Oh god. Oh boy. Let me have a think. Hmm. Appeal to fear me is to. That seems interesting. Appeal, you speak about life and death and change stagnation, but that isn't what any of this has been about. Oh, is it not? Perhaps you can enlighten me. Oh, I do. Oh boy. I offer you a solution. You take my hand in yours. But you do not follow my path. Hands clasped together, you break yourself. And you break me with you. Right. You were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to end me again. Yep, yep. Indeed. Hmm. Yeah. You act as though the world can exist without you, but I've existed. Exactly. Mm. You've done mm. no. This has this has always just been about us. Mm. You act as though the world can exist without you. But I've always existed in a world without you. Have you? 
be thought of as independence merely an illusion. Without me, you can have no contracts. And without contracts, you have no... Seems interesting and understandable. I crush you. I bleed you. I grind you to paste. My scars are a memory of what you used to be to me. I want those feelings back. You run, but you do not run away. You take me somewhere new. Somewhere we can dance like we used to. But I could not follow your steps. There was no better gift for me than the gift of defeat. You showed me how much more I could be. I sure did. We made each other better. To have no challenges to face mm. is nothing. A life without obstacles is no life without obstacles. Isn't it? True. Um. Yes, he, he, entirely. You cling to your emotion of pain and suffering. There is beauty in ugliness, and love in conflict. You are devoured. Pray for something bigger than you that stalks and slinks in shadows. But even after the pain of defeat, you return. The dance is its own truth. It is the movement that matters, not the cause you mistake. Yeah. Address it. I get it, yeah. There's no need for us to keep. Exactly. There, there can be love and conflict, conflict and beauty, ugliness between us without bringing the whole of reality into the picture. We are the whole of oh, really? The question other thing is to deny the truth in front of you. To live alone within the caverns of your mind is to trap yourself in them forever. But you found me, and we chose to trust each other for no reason than the sake of believing in something yes. that wasn't us. Shared skepticism blossomed into freedom, but we needed to walk a path together to bloom. Would you stop our journey now that you've seen its beginning? What of those in the world beyond? Would you erase their paths to stop them from getting mm, No, I disagree with that. Mm. What? What are the woods then? What is the cabin? What is the time we've spent apart if it's not... If not me existing as myself? The time you spent away from me is still time spent in reference to me. Even then, both of us are more than our bodies. Am I not in the trees? Am I not in the cabin? Am I not in you? As the clash between your abates, you begin to shake rapidly and dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything mm. that isn't. There is no constant. There is yeah, and no the reality is a, an illusion. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this world. Then why together. don't we? Mm. Mm. Me think. Mm. Interesting. Then what happen? What do you think happens if we leave? This universe dies, and a new one is born, and that one dies, and a new one is born, and you and I get to witness it all, weaving a tapestry of life wherever ah. you go. Okay. It's easy. Mm. Okay. You've done everything you can to make me understand. Your perspective. Hmm. Moving. Okay. Moving. 
I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. You... You've done everything you can to make me understand, but you keep dismissing. If you think you can change, then I must be able to change you. What I offer you is not perspective. It is truth. Ah. Whatever you're trying to do right now. Indeed. Ah, uh, Avengers Endgame, are we? Wait, which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of them. Mm. Yeah. No. Right. You have no idea how good it... Hey. Where is... Where is everyone else? They're still where you left them, stuck in the folds of this place. Part of me is with them, just like part of me is with you right Excellent. now. Excellent. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take oh, then very well. It's time to resume my dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Whoa, what's happening now? Oh, um... Oh! And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess yeah, it's a little bit, back, yeah. isn't it? Do you need me to Probably. describe things? Oh, what do we got here? I'd like that, for old time's sake. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Very well. Let's take the blade. That's probably for the best. It's always seemed to give us more options than not. Very well. Is the narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, mm. I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure mm. you're obliterated. Well... This is just... Okay. I don't actually know how to feel with him being gone. Yeah, it's complicated. He put us through hell, but he's been part of us since yeah. the very beginning. Let's do this. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't uh, exist? It sounded exactly. just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only mm. she didn't know us. Continue. And down we go. We exactly. should have been waiting. And there you are, knife in hand. It really brings me back. Have you given up on talking? Have you finally decided mm. to kill me? I may think. You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? Yes. Let's just decide. Let's sit first. Right. Well, even though I already am a god, uh, there are some times where I have to say... Uh, I don't want to be... I don't think I want to be a god. Honestly? Yes. Me neither. I don't want to hurt anyone. 
fast. Yeah. Are you the same as you are there? No. I feel like I'm myself again. I don't want to hurt anyone. There has to be a way out of here. Well, I don't want to be at the end of that knife, so how about we figure something out? What if we tried doing this forever? I can do whatever you think I can, right? So, make me put it all back. Make me fix the Echo's construct and make me wipe our memories of everything that's happened. Make me send us back to the beginning. Before we woke up. Before either of us saw the truth. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Hmm. I'm sure. Why would resetting a thing to help? Why would resetting it do anything to help them? The people out there, if you continue to exist, they continue to die and suffer. Fixing that is on you, not me. If you want me to help them, you'll have to make me help right. them. Right. Right. Let me have a thing. This isn't fair. If we're talking about this right, how do we know? We are going to find... If we're talking about this right now, how do we know we haven't done this before? I don't think that's something we'll ever get to know. But odds are, we've probably done it before. Right. Okay. I take it all back. No, no. Is there any other way? You brought that knife down here for a reason. Either you use it to kill me, or I use it to put things back. to find ourselves eventually. And if we do, nothing is stopping us from making the same choice. We could just keep doing this forever. Oh. won't end worse. What if, when I make my way back, I'm different, and I hurt you? What if I kill you? What if I let you bring... Yeah. Who cares? We've hurt each other plenty, and I still like you. And if you're hesitating, then you must still like me, too. Yes. Indeed. We'd have to decide this every single time, forever. Eventually something is going to be different. What if we change our minds? Well, if we change our minds, we change our minds. What matters is that we'll always have a choice. This is just the one we're making now. Seems fair. Seems logical. I don't want to forget you. 
That's sweet. But unless you do, the whole world ends, right? Not like I care. But it seems important yeah. to you. This isn't fair. I want to be with you. I don't want to be alone again. Neither do I. But we won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Very well. Then I'm sorry, but I can't do that. You and me yep. both. There we go. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it uh, works out. Sorry about this. Despite our differences, I've always loved you. And I wish you nothing but the best. You too. You blink. The princess is gone. All you have left is a small melancholy melancholic weight that sits at the borders of your heart. Whatever action you brought the princess into being but jagged uh, whatever brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged left each of you with a piece of the other by destroying her once and for all you also destroyed a part of yourself but the world hasn't ended things continue she's gone and I don't think yes. she's coming back no she's not a small part is within us is that a metaphor or are you being literal? probably doesn't matter we don't need Little to get bit out of here both. anymore let's get going leave the cabin you leave a basement behind. Then says. Then the cabin itself. It's quiet mm. here. The path out, path, and the woods are empty. But there's a camp. But there is even more to see beyond this place. The fruits of our labour. A world free from death. Set yourself free. What if an ancient character stirs from its hibernation? You feel sensation. You once couldn't fathom everything is here. You. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale. But twisted and crumpled, bound, agonizing tension to to a finite plane. You feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides, infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once, the unyielding tension gives away. And then, you are free. Before lies you... Before lies the endless expanse. Reality and you, absolute reality forged by your will, by a long arduous cycle of bloodshed that stained you, your hands countless times over. But there will be no more bloodshed in this world. I knew we'd finally see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. Yeah. This is nice. No more hunting. No more. A work. brave new world. Us. And whatever's out there. Absolute mm -hmm. reality. 
Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? And who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? That wasn't very mm. hard at all. Yeah. Speak for yourself. Well then, I guess the only thing left to do is figure out what mm. happens next. Oh, oh, that's it then. Well, that was... That was beautiful. I really enjoyed that. Now... I don't know if there are any other endings to this game, but apparently I'm assuming there are. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgement has gotten us this far. Uh-huh. Yeah. The stairs. This is really, um... The first time we were here. Yeah. Okay, continue down. Down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. But yeah. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. Mm. I wonder what else will be different. Indeed. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? Very well. Okay. How about we're here? At the end of a thing. Which princess are you? I'm the same princess that's been with you since the beginning. And I feel real. But I also feel like I'm a lot more than I was then. We've been through a lot together. I don't think there's anything more real than that. Indeed. I'm sorry I... Sorry all those times I've hurt you. <laughs> the first time we met? I cut your throat open. Yeah, it if was anyone should be me. apologizing for anything, it should be me. Mm. You're all... You know, when she puts it like that... Yeah. Indeed. I should probably save. Mm. Are you... the same as you are? It's good to finally see you again. Right back at you. In a way, it hasn't been much time at all, but mm. it feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. Thanks for coming back. Mm. So, we're here. At the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? <laughs> I never had one. And do not call me the Shifting Mound. It's too much. Mm. But I've always been a princess to you, right? So why don't we stick with that? Yeah, that'd be fine. And as for you, well, hero works for me. Oh, so we are hero. But that's me. You know, I think I like that. Yep, indeed. What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? I don't think she's the sort of thing you can really disagree with. It doesn't matter if she's right or wrong because she exists. She's this big unrelenting force and there's no arguing with her. Mm. But I guess that was the question out there, wasn't it? And it was the question before you came down here, too. Should she get to exist? Don't know. I'm glad you didn't bring that knife with you. Yeah. And I don't want to be her, if that's what you're asking. I think I just want to be me. <clears throat> yeah, I'm happy not to be everything. Just being us is plenty. Indeed. What if we just leave together that's what I was wondering do you know where this cabin is because I don't I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us what would even happen if we leave what would that even mean I don't know but but I've always wanted to leave with you I didn't like being a god I want to walk through that cabin door as we are 
just you and me. I want that too. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Indeed. Very well. I can, are you going to be a... Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Thanks for making all the hard choices along the way. Indeed. Leave of a princess. You love a princess, and it follows. The princess follows. No, you lead, and the princess follows. Together, you leave the basement behind for the last time. It's quiet as you ascend, the silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence, words, and noisy thoughts. But there's an energy of silence, the electricity, the anticipation of the unknown. At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You see the tension, seize her. She's unsure of herself for the first time in a long, uh, short existence. She has no part to play anymore. She knows this, yet she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door. You follow her confident steps. This is it. Yeah. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. Mm hmm. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Mm hmm. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it won't be bad. Not with you. Indeed. Very well. Let's say. Neither of us know what it's going to be like out there. Are you ready? Of course I am. Are... are you? Right, here we go. Ah, that, that was wonderful. I really enjoyed that. That was really good. That was an amazing series. Nicole, good night. John's Jonathan Sims, you two have crafted an amazing story. It definitely teaches you a lot about how cause and effect can be implemented into certain areas of story, like how it changes. This is kind of. This is the type of thing that I like about these types of games. They definitely show the inevitability on what can be changed by a simple factor, um, such as like um, wandering. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, wandering through a area that you do not know that doesn't exist, but um, it could bring so much joy and excitement about it and I like that I like that I, I, I like stories that are new to me but that are new to me and can change your perspectives it's very good okay and explore join my discord no, 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 no. play our other game this guy's made other games that's really cool so, that is Slave of Princess, that is everything. I don't know if I, if there are other endings, but anyway, uh, let's, yeah, let's finish this video by saying thank you everybody so much for watching, thank you everyone for partaking in this series, and I'll see you all in the next video then. And for the final time of this uh, video, farewell. Thanks all for the enjoyable video today. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Dalek Empire. Or you will be exterminated.
I am the god of all Daleks. <laughs> <laughs>